Hi Matt fans, recently a client got in touch and asked me about a problem with importing rasters into Geo packages. Rasters in Geo packages is not something I've really had time to look into, but this has allowed me to. And it looks like Geo packages are not quite up to scratch when it comes to rasters. It's a known bug, it's being fixed, and we're going to have a look at a quick workaround in this video. I've already tested this in QGIS 3.4, so here we are in 3.6 NUSA, and I'm just going to have a look and see if the same behavior is presenting. So I've got my project open, uh, we're in good old Central America, and I have some vector files, and my vector files are stored in this geo package. So I've called it jpkg raster demo .geo package. And we've got cities, countries, major roads, and volcanoes. Now, actually, in my project here, I've got another layer, which is a raster. You can tell by the checkerboard symbol next to it. And that's called Relief32. Now, if I turn off the countries, you can see that that Relief32 is indeed a raster. And what I'd like to do is add that to my geo package. Now, if I was being lazy, what I'd usually do is just pick this up drag it onto my geo package and you can see the cursor changes to a little plus. Let go and nothing happens. If I refresh, nothing happens. Why is my raster not in this geo package? Well, if I'm being less lazy, I could go here and go to exports and save as. And instead of saving as a geo tiff, I'm gonna go for a geo package. File name is going to be that geo package raster demo. So I'm going to save it there. Okay, that. And for the layer name, instead of relief32, I'm going to call it elevation because it is a little more descriptive. Um, I'll leave all the other settings as they are and okay that. And here we get the error message. The layer elevation already exists in the target file. No, it does not, QGIS. And overwriting layers in Geo package is not supported. Do you want to overwrite the whole file? Well, no, I don't because that would overwrite my whole Geo package and that would not be a good thing because I already have layers in there. So I'm going to no to that and no it again because it pops up twice. So this is a little bit of a conundrum. And how can we fix this? Well, I did look online to see if this was a known issue, and indeed it is. So, as a workaround, it's not perfect, but it is a workaround, what we can do is actually create a new geo package. And it appears that the problem exists when you've got vectors in a geo package, and then you try to add a raster. So if we have a fresh geo package, and we add a raster, we can then add our vectors to it later on. To create our new geo package, I will start by exporting Relief32 into it. So I'll export, save as, and here we've got the usual options. So for the format, I'm going to go for geo package, and I'm going to go for making a new geo package. Instead of calling it raster demo, I will call it raster fix. Now, after a little more digging, I have discovered that if you export the raw data, which will write out raw raster data, optionally user defined or no data values may be applied. This will not work. And this is a particularly bad thing if you're dealing with say a multiband image of satellite imagery or something like that with 12 bands, it's, uh, it's not gonna work. Which is unfortunate, but we can output a rendered image. So if you're using a raster purely to have as a visual aid, this will work fine. So we can write out three bands and RGB image rendered using the current layer style. So it's going to make an RGB image of exactly what we can see at the moment. And just to remind you, it's our relief layer under the countries. So I'll output this and then we can compare the two. So it's going to go into this new raster fix geo package and the layer name, I'm going to call it relief as I've remembered this is a hill shade and not a true DEM. And I'm gonna add the saved file to the map. So I'll okay all of that. 
and you can see at the bottom it's running and so, so there it is so now we've got our relief and we can have a look at it I'm just going to turn off the countries and let's zoom in a bit let's go somewhere with volcanoes that's always fun okay so here's our volcanoes and that's our relief on top and if I turn that off that's the original file underneath so on the face of it there's no difference at all but remember this is just a rendered image of what that raster looks like so if you're wanting to do deeper analysis at the moment it does look like geo packages are not going to serve your purpose here's the github page um, the bug tracking for QGIS has now moved to GitHub. And you can see here that uh, Canes has gone through three days ago and worked out what's going on. This is for QGIS version 3.8 Zambia Zanzibar, but I'm finding that it happens in 3.4 and 3.6 as well. So you can watch this if you've got a GitHub account, you can decide to watch this and you'll get any updates on fixes that are being implemented for it. Now that we have a new geo package with our relief layer in it, you may be wondering what the next step is. And previously I thought I would just add all my vector layers to the new geo package. But check this out. I can take relief, pick it up and drop it into that geo package. Things are happening. Things are happening. And there we go. The import was successful. So you might be wondering why we just don't do the export in the first place. Previously we were trying with the raw image and that wasn't working. Let's just try that export again and I'm going to save as geo package rendered image go up to jpkg raster demo. Okay that. I'll give it a new name eventually something like will this work? And if I OK that, again, we get that error message. So despite whether you're doing raw data or rendered image, you can't actually add a raster to an existing geo package that has vectors in it. So we do have to make a new geo package uh, for our raster. But then once you've done that, you can bizarrely just copy and paste across or drag and drop across into your existing geo package. So some oddities of the geo package uh, implementation in QGIS and hopefully all of these bugs are going to be ironed out pretty soon. But this is a workaround as to how you can get rendered images, remember not the raw raster data, into an existing geo package. Thanks a lot for watching and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please do share videos that you might think your colleagues might enjoy. Um, that helps the channel a lot and don't forget to subscribe. Happy mapping!